Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with my card for this week's color throwdown challenge. Not gonna lie, threw me for a loop, especially lately when I'm doing a lot of red, you know, doing Valentine cards, all those things. So this week's um, color challenge is gray, navy, and white. And I actually ended up having a few different ideas and had experimented with a couple things that just did not turn out and then settled on using the bold leaves background, which a lot of you will hopefully remember. I did several videos of this back, back in the fall, end of October-ish, somewhere around there, around the time my whip, my, you know, blog crashed and a lot, crazy drama and oi, oi, anywho. I pulled it out again because I was like, I, I do, I love the stamp. So I have the stamp face up on my work surface. I have some gray cardstock. This is Simon's Smoke Gray cardstock. I'd use my anti-static powder tool on the cardstock. I inked up the stamp with clear embossing ink, press the cardstock into it, and then I'm going to heat emboss this with Hero Arts White Satin Pearl embossing powder. Every time I use this, I remind myself I need to order extra containers of this. This is one of the ones I, need, I should have in one of my bigger, um, those little Systema uh, lunch size containers or sandwich, sandwich containers, whatever. Um, Cause yeah, this is just a really pretty embossing powder. And when I use it on gray cardstocks or darker cardstocks, it does almost look metallic. It's just, it's just pretty. I love it. Anyway, coated the background with that embossing powder, melted it with my heat tool, and then um, after I had done the background, I took a piece of navy cardstock and I'm going to use my Misty for this. And I'm going to use a sentiment from the Circle Sayings stamp set. This is a good one because it's got like a Thanksgiving, a Christmas, Halloween, uh, birthday, and then happy Valentine's Day. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to make this a Valentine's card. I, when I first started, I, it wasn't going to be one. And then I was like, wait a minute, this can be a just very non-traditional Valentine's card that actually says happy Valentine's Day. Because a lot of the videos in my Valentine series, like I've always said, are very open-ended for multiple occasions, that sort of a thing. They don't have to be specifically Valentine's Day, in my opinion, but this one's going to be. So I inked up the sentiment with clear embossing ink, same, same procedure, except for this time I'm just heat embossing it with white embossing powder from Simon. And then after I was done heat embossing it, I used the coordinating little circle wafer die so I can die cut the sentiment. And I also did more die cutting off screen. I die cut the background with one of Simon's stitched rectangle wafer dies. And then I used the Privet Branch wafer die with a darker shade of gray cardstock. And then I also used the layered chickadee. So yes, I'm going to put a bird on it. <laughs> Bonus points for, for anyone who, who knows what that reference is from. Um, yeah, I've mentioned this before too. I, I, I don't know why for the longest time I avoided using birds on cards. I I don't know. I got too hung up in my own head over it and I've been working on it the last few months because I really like them and I just, they're so cute. And I've had this one sitting for months and it's just, it's just adorable. So I die cut it from white and black cardstock. Super easy to assemble on the, the main body part of the bird. It embosses the lines. So you know exactly where to line up the other little pieces. Like just it's literally simple. Anybody can do it. I put a little piece of washi tape on the back to hold the eye in place. In the end, off camera, I actually die cut a scrap of that lighter gray cardstock and use that for the eye. And I also die cut that darker gray cardstock for the beak just to give it a little more variation so it's not just white and black, you know? So I adhered everything into place with just little dabs of craft tacky glue. I used my embellishment wand to, you know, pick up the smaller pieces of cardstock. So I've got all my die cutting done. On the inside of the card, this is going to be a top folding A2 white note card. I used a piece of post-it tape to mask off where the score line is. I've cleaned off that bold leaves background stamp and now I'm inking it up with Simon's flannel uh, positively saturated ink. This is the lightest gray ink and same thing. Flip the card base over onto that so the inside is going to be stamped with that bold leaves pattern. After I'd stamped that I'm going to put this into my Misty because I wanted to stamp the 
um, sending hugs sentiment from that circle sayings stamp set because again this just kind of works this is a type of valentine's card that you could just send to a friend you know to a family member to whoever really because just happy valentine's day sending hugs you know so inked that one up with versifying claire nocturne ink once i've got that stamped i use a little bit of pattern paper i know shocking um, this one's not available anymore. I'll link to something similar that has kind of a blue pattern to it. Um, this is just from like a blue blossom tonic pack that I had bought forever ago that I'd used in a couple videos, at least one video, something. Anyway, I was moving some things around the other day and this, I remembered I had this and I was like, Ooh, it has a, you know, Navy pattern on it. So it'll work good for this card. <laughs> so I trimmed it down to four and a quarter by five and a half and applied a very thin amount of craft tacky glue with pattern papers or very thin cardstocks like I use heavier weight cardstock I link to the ones I use in all of my supply lists but when you're working with thinner papers pattern papers etc when you're using liquid adhesive less is more always 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 even with everything else it, even if it looks like I'm using a lot of glue in a video I'm not like I'll apply it fairly, you know, a fair amount of it, but I'm not applying it very thick because you don't need much. But regardless of whether you're doing thin papers, thick cardstock, anything like that, you don't need much when it comes to liquid adhesive. Less is more. And that's why I don't have issues with it curling. I've had people ask me about that, like why my cards aren't curling up, that sort of thing. And it's because I just, I try to not add that much glue. It's hard to show in a video exactly like the amount but it's not very much. So I used a combination of Craft Hacky Glue and I also used Simon's Big Mama foam tape to give that different elements um, a little bit of dimension without it being too thick and bulky. So I adhered the uh, Bold Leaves background gray cardstock piece with the Big Mama uh, foam tape. And then the die cut branch, I just adhered with a bit of Craft Hacky Glue. And then the sentiment and the bird, I'm going to also adhere with the Big Mama foam tape. So again, just little bits of dimension without being like, you know, a massively thick, unwieldy sort of a card. Once I got those adhered, a person could always stop here, but I got to add like some embellishments. And I'm just kind of, I, <laughs> I'm obsessed again with my little mini hearts wafer die set. For some reason in my head, I thought this set was discontinued and I thought I had pulled it out of my stash and then discovered that I was completely wrong about that. So you guys are going to see this make way more appearances because I've, this has been a set I have loved and used for years. I can't even remember when I wrote this set is old, but anyway, I die cut scraps of that same Navy cardstock with these mini hearts, uh, wafer dies. And I adhered some to the card front. I'm going to adhere a few to the inside. And then the leftovers, just like I've done and said in previous videos, I just throw right back into the packaging. So then when I pull it out again, I've got like a variety of little hearts to use for whatever project I'm working on. So again, you could leave it here, but I wanted to just zhuzh it up just, just a little bit more. <laughs> so I took my aqua shimmer pens. And I painted the hearts on the card front with that. So it gives it some sparkle and I'll show at the end the actual like sparkle because it doesn't really show up on camera. And then I added a layer of glossy accents. So it'll look cloudy at first, but once it dries, it'll dry completely clear and it just gives them that glossy look and it makes them look like little enamel embellishments. Just some cardstock, additional shimmer, got some gloss, love. So once I did that, I set this aside, let it dry. Don't poke your fingers in it. That's just the biggest reason. I think I just said that the other day in a video. It's one of the reasons I avoid using glossy accents more often than not, because I'm really bad for poking my fingers in it. It's like, is it dry yet? <laughs> and then I wreck it. But this time I was good. I left it alone and I let it dry. So now they're shiny and sparkly. And this was just a really fun, easy little card. So flashlight. Here you can see, see, oh, see the sparkle. It's so fun. Just love. So as always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post. In the blog post, I'll link to the color throwdown challenge. There's a new one every week. Anyone can play along. It's just open-ended, all for fun. And there's tons, tons of inspiration, all sorts of things like that. So I'll have a link 
in the blog post that's linked directly below. I'll have a link to my supply list, link to all the supplies I used. You can check that out below as well. Thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Thumbs up and comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.